Code, who was actually recently asked to act for Matt Hancock. Thank you for joining me. Yes, I have to say that's disappointing because I made it absolutely clear to your program. I asked them not to disclose that. And that is very, very poor journalism. OK, well, it seems like, uh, I mean, are you OK to carry on or is that the kind of thing that means you don't want to carry on? No, I'm going to apologize it doesn't mean that I, the... I'll go around because I, I disagree with what a lot of you say, but you've, you've stood there in front of a, a baying audience throwing poo left, right and centre at Man, Matt Hancock when your own rep television station has engaged in correspondence with me where I explained that, that one, you know, I'm in a position to be able to comment on this and mentioned that I'd been approached by Matt Hancock. I asked you not okay. to mention that. Well, and I apologise that we've... So I anybody, that we've anybody, anybody's tempted to take you seriously or your programme seriously, here's a good reason well, not well, to. in this moment, I can apologise for including that information and I just need to know, you are, of course, and I would love to know your counters to any points that I made if you would like to make them. And I apologise for well, having yeah, information well, 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 the Well, I will. The difficulty is, is, is where to begin. OK, so first of all, you've asked the wrong question. Now, inevitably, I, I look at this as a lawyer. Uh, and since there was a non-disclosure agreement and we are governed by laws and doubtless GB News includes non-disclosure agreements in its employment contracts and therefore has no problem with them in principle, the, the question fundamentally is, was it right for this lady, who incidentally you mentioned she had four, but you didn't mention the whole of the form, she did exactly the same thing to Aaron Banks uh, when she was asked to, to, to uh, ghostwrite a book about Brexit. Just to uh, jump in, there, it feels like we agree on that point where I was saying she had form. I didn't mention all of the points that you would like to mention, and yet you're, yeah, yeah. you're taking uh, exception. I, 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 I agree she had form. Them, I just thought for the audience's sake right. that um, the most direct form is that she she broke her agreement uh, in the ghostwriting agreement. Now, so I've try... seen and drafted a number of these. Every single one has a non-disclosure agreement. Right. So to try now, and the way me, the law if, looks, if my question looks was that, wrong... Hi, are you going to interrupt me? Are you going to let me finish? I'm, I'm trying to, you I'm trying to work question. out what... Yeah, and you're saying that we're asking the wrong question. I'd love to know what the right question yeah, is. Yeah, so I'm, now, I'm now going to explain why. You interrupted me by saying uh, you, you, you apparently agree me. So had you not interrupted me, I would have got to the end of the answer. OK, so can I ask again what is so the question the, that I should be asking? So, so, all right, so I'm bound by a confidentiality obligation, both contractually and the lawyer. Now, I ask you rhetorically, you come to me some uh, marital problem and you say all sorts of things in confidence to me uh, about difficulties with your families because your children and then for some reason you're in the public uh, you're on the public arena for some reason I think a, a couple of months later do you know what I didn't like that man he was on television and he said daft things or you know I don't like his political views or whatever do you know what I'm going to disclose everything that uh, this gentleman said to me um, on a unilateral decision of my own. Now, th that Can would be helpful for you to understand this. That the point is, she was bound by a contract. So as a matter of law, there are two tests. The first test is, generally speaking, confidential information. You balance the right of people to know the, the, with the right to confidentiality. But what the law says in terms of a contract... The law says there has to be a much higher test because someone has entered into a contract for payment. Remember, she was paid. She entered into contract for payment. So was there sufficient public interest for her to breach that contract? Now, I can tell you that as a matter of law, the answer to that question is no. OK, but you so can I join in and, and partake of a conversation? Your example sure. about me talking about my private life would have no public interest unless I suddenly became an MP where I was telling people how to live their marital lives. So your example doesn't have that public interest in. And I, no, OK, okay. Like... Well, let's, let's, pick, let's pick that up. So you think that if you became an MP, because this is an extraordinary thing to say, but let's, let's split out to show how idiotic is. Yeah. So you think that if you became an MP 
uh, where you had uh, got a, a, an obligation to speak about family issues, that that would entitle me to go to the Telegraph and say, do you know what? Five no, or six I years ago, you instructed me, let me finish, on issues of marital confidence. And because he's now an MP, here you are. These are all things that he told okay. me. Do you think that's right? So I, here's an example then, let's take it more ad ridiculum, that I speak to you Sorry, about... you haven't answered the question. Do you think that's right? Yes, in the specific example I'm about to say... Yeah, you do. OK. Finish. Well, then, um, God, God help you. If you really think that obligations of confidence are worth that little, I don't believe you. I so don't think I you believe this, that's right at all. Is there any case, is there any case when uh, there would be a time that you could break a uh, non-disclosure agreement because of public interest? Because it seems like you're describing no possible outcome when that would be correct. I'm, I'm saying that there has to be a very high circumstances for that. Now, I don't think there is, because uh, that's going to be your next question. So, no, first no, of no, all, the interesting point is um, the word the, thinking. The COVID, the, 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 this is... The COVID crisis was, was the first that any government faced for 100 years. So, let, okay. so that we discover that m mistakes were made during the COVID crisis. I know, How extraordinary is, I, is that? I'm also, it's, could it's, you, why is could it you necessary to, to learn from, from, from those texts that the government made mistakes? Yeah, we're, what good we're not does it specifically talking about this. Can you, I've just been given the actual email that you sent to my producer, which they'd like me to read out. Um, as a courtesy to the lady who approached me to act for MH, Matt Hancock, I would be grateful if it was mentioned that he asked me to act for him. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it seems that you actually... That you're absolutely too. right that it's my mistake I missed out the knot. I take all of that back. My abs... abs <laughs> my abject apologies. You're right, and I'm wrong. No, fair, fair dues. I, I'm absolutely wrong about that. My apologies. I think we will leave it there, but thank you very much for partaking in that uh, conversation. Best wishes. Uh, Jonathan Code, thank you very much for joining us. After the break.